life of Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, is rarely ordinary, and this day is no exception. Whilst deep in study of the Book of Ashanti, the Eye of Agamotto alerted me to intruders in my Sanctum Sanctorum. Mordo, that mystical menace, and being aided by Dormammu from the Dark Dimension, those fiends! What this gruesome duo don't know is that I too have an ally from the Dimension of Darkness. There is a chance that with the aid of the beautiful Clea, I could foil their dark purpose. By the hoary host of Hogan, they will learn what it means to tangle with the master of the mystic arts. My sanctum was under attack and I had to defend it. I could keep his puppets at bay, but with Dormammu's power aiding him, Mordo's shield was impenetrable. My only hope was clear in the Dark Dimension. <laughs> The Dark Dimension was a dangerous place, not only home to Dormammu, but also his minions. My amulet, the Eye of Agamotto, allowed me to pierce its veil, but alas, I could only watch, helpless. Fortunately for me, Clea was capable of almost anything. Mamu was distracted and Mordo's power waned. Unable to maintain his shield, he was left vulnerable. Now is my chance to strike. this was going to be no simple fight. I only hoped that Clea could continue to distract Dormammu, to make Mordo vulnerable to me once more. The mystic moons of Manipur, Clea had done it again. I could feel Dormammu's rage echo across the dimensions.
I'm afraid you underestimate my power. Once more, Mordo fled from me. I hoped that Thalia could find a more permanent distraction for Dormammu, so I could end this. Mindless ones. Magical beings of immense strength and power with savage dispositions and minimal intelligence. Their only desire to fight and destroy anything and everything. Trapped in Dormammu's prison and ready to burst forth. released, the Mindless Ones beset upon Dormammu. It would take all of his power to put them back into their prison, power he could no longer spare for Mordo. It was time to face him. By the flames of Faltine, he would learn what it meant to cross Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme. his demonic cohort, Mordo soon fled. No doubt he would return with some fresh devilment, but I had more pressing problems. The Sanctum Sanctorum was a mess and I had guests arriving at eight. If only I hadn't given Wong the night off. As I prepared the hors d'oeuvres, my mind drifted to Clea, my silver-haired ally. I prayed a chance to repay the considerable debt I owed her would present itself. Little did I know that it would take an eternity for that to happen. But that, my friends, is another story. Hey, Zosio!